welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. This tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Rottweiler on the Rainbow Loom. I absolutely love this charm and I really think he looks really like a Rottweiler. He has a caramel as the bands and black. And he actually has some caramel as the eyebrow color and the little snout. And I used beads for his eyes and I think that beads really stand out really well. And if you don't have caramel, I actually made one with like a brown color, so you can use that too. And I use bands for this eye. And I just put a little magic marker to make the pupil. And both came out cute, but I really think if you have beads, definitely use beads for this dog. Because of the black around the face, the beads stand out a lot better. But in the tutorial, I'm going to use um, the bands, and I'm going to use caramel. Definitely, if you have caramel, use caramel, but if you have any other shade of brown, you can use that too. So, let's get started. Okay, so it's a single loom, staggered position, arrow facing down. And everything is double bands right now, and we're going to start off using black bands. So, it's going to be a black band from the middle, from here to here, and then we'll do the side. And once again, they're all double bands. And then the next side. Then we're going to work in the middle of the head. And it's going to be a broad shaped head. So we're going to work and put bands from here to here. And then another set from this pin to this pin. Push that down. Okay, now we'll work on the next set in the middle of the head. And we're going to stop right there and then go to your caramel color. And caramel is going to be the bottom of the chin. So we'll put caramel on this pin. So it's black, black, and then caramel. Now we're going to go back to black and work on the side of the head. And they're all double bands once again. And we're just working our way down. And then we're going to finally connect these two pins. Okay, and then we'll work on the left side of the head. And then one more set. So this is basically your head configuration, and then we're going to work on the snout later. And now we're going to work with the neck. The neck is going to be three bands, triple band, and all black. Okay, so we're going to be five stitches long. So we'll work in the middle of the back first, and then work on the sides. So here's our first stitch, double, we're going back to double. So here's one, two, three, when one ran away, <laughs> four, and five. Okay, so now the rest of the back is going to be black, and then we're going to make a little extension on top of the side later on to make it a little bit more fuller. And if you want to add a little caramel in the front area, because um, right while I just have some caramel, I'm going to show you how to do this part too. So, but right now we're just adding black, and they're all double bands. So here's our triple right here. We're going to start right here and connect to here. And then we're just going to work our way down the side of the body. And if I'm going too slow or fast, you can, you know, pause and then you can catch up. And then at the end, we're going to connect these two pins. 
pin that will work on the left side. Just working our way down. And then connecting these two pins. Okay, I'm going to show you first how to make the legs and the tail, and then we're going to put an extension on top of that. So I'm going to use caramel as the bottom part, and then it's going to be black. And it's going to be three stitches of caramel and then black little claws. So first we make the claws with a single black wrapped on the hook four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to take a double caramel, place that on the double, bring it back on the hook to look like that. And then we're going to add two more stitches. So here's one. This is a total of two. One, two. And then number three. Okay, then we're going to go into black. And if your Rottweiler that you want to copy looks a little bit different than this one, you can just change it up. If you want like black paws, you can put black or anything you want. But this is just the basic Rottweiler that I want to um, show you. Okay, and then another black. So this is a total of one, two, three caramel and one, two black. Now we're going to place it on this pin. Okay, so now we're going to make another one for here. So a single black, one, two, three, and four, and then a double caramel. Okay, another caramel for our second. And then a third. Okay, now we'll go into the black. We'll do two sets of these. So here's one and two. And we're going to place it right here. Bring it to the side. And now we're going to make the hind legs. And I make a little thigh area. So it's a little thicker in this area too. So I'll show you how to make that also. So it's going to be the same. Single black. One, two, three, four. Three sets of the caramel. One, number two, and three, and then a double black. Now keep that on the hook, and we're going to bring a double black on the loom. Place it right here, and then another double black, connecting from here to here, so there's two there. Then I'm going to place this on here, and this is my thigh. Okay, we're going to grab this one first, we're going to loom this on the left, then we're going to loom this one. Then you can place it on the hook, and we're going to place it right here on this pin and this pin. And this pin. Okay, 
So that's one leg, and we're going to repeat on this side. So a double, a uh, single black, one, two, three, four. Then we'll go into our double caramel. Make three sets. Here's number two. And number three. Then we're going to do a double black. Place it to the side. Place a double black on the loom. And then another. And then place this as your capping band. Then we're going to grab this band right here. And then the next, and there is one more leg. And we place it right here and here on those two pins. Okay, so now, if you want a tail, I'm going to show you how to make a tail like this one. If you don't want a tail like this guy, it's a double band just wrapped twice around on this pin. So if you want a docked tail, it's just a double band wrapped twice. So one, two, and then that's your capping band. But I'm going to show you how to make a tail. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five stitches long. It's going to be all black. Single black, wrap three times. One, two, three. Then we're going to do five stitches. So here's one. Two. Three. Four and five. Okay, so we're going to place that right here. Okay, so now we're going to make a little extension to make him more robust and more heavy, heavy figured dog. I'm also going to add a little caramel in the front because I see a lot of pictures with the caramel in the front. If you don't want to add the caramel, you don't have to. It depends on how you know you want your dog to look like. But we're going to make an extension. I'm going to take it slow. Push all these down. Okay, so we're going to place bands on here. So it's going to be a single black and a single caramel. I'm going to place the caramel on top, so it's going to be just like that, a single black and a single caramel. This is going to create the little caramel effect in the front, and if you don't want that, then just put two black. Then we're going to place another double black on here, and then another double black here. So it's three stitches total. One, two, three. And we're stopping right here, and we're going to repeat on this side. So a single caramel, and a single black, and we're going to place it on the left. Then a double black, and then another double black. Okay, we're stopping right there, so one, two, three. Then when I'm looming everything, I'm going to take it really slow so we don't miss any steps or anything. Now we're going to do our structural bands. It's going to be a single black, and it's going to be a little triangle. These three triangle. Then we're going to go up again, make another single black triangle. 
another single black triangle, and the last one, single black triangle. Okay, and this is your body. Now we're going to work on the face. Okay, so I have caramel on the bottom of the snout and a little black on top. So I'm going to work with this, and I'm going to do the nose as a single black wrapped on the hook four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to take three caramel. So three. Then you're going to take two black. I'm going to take this one. This one's a little oddly shaped. And put another one there. So then I'm going to place it on the hook. I'm going to dangle them because they're all a little misshapen. So I want them all around the same shape. Then I'm going to keep the black on the left and the caramel on the right. I'm going to slide the little nose on there, place it in the middle, then you can take it off the hook, place it in the middle, and what I want to do is I want to take my black, place it on the hook just like this, so you can see what that looks like. Then we're going to take another double black. I'm going to take this slowly now. I make some of my dog's noses like this too. Bring the black through and then we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, so it looks just like that. You can see? Okay, now I'm going to take a double caramel. And I'm going to bring my hook right through the loops of these three caramel. So it looks like this. You can have all three, three on this side, three on that side, through the hook. Take your double caramel, bring, place it on the hook, bring it through, take your time with it. And then you're going to place it on the bottom two pins. It's on these two. And I want this snout in the middle. You can separate the caramel. Bring the nose on top of this pin so it rests. And then I'll show you how to make it 3D when we're looming it. And then I want these separated too. Okay, so look closely. This is what it should look like. It's the double black right here with the black through it. And then here's that triple caramel with a double through it. Okay, now we're going to make the eyes. And like I said before, I used brown eyes and I did a magic marker and um, made the pupils. I really like how the beads came out. But I'm going to make, not a lot of people have the beads, so I'm going to use uh, brown bands. Okay, so take a brown, place it on your hook, you can make a figure eight, then you grab that and wrap it around again. Or you can wrap it around four times. Here again, figure eight, just like that, and wrap it around again, or wrap it four times. Then you take a single black, then bring that on the single black, and then we're going to place the end parts on this pin and this pin, and the middle of the eye is going to hang, the middle of the band is going to hang on here. So I'll show you. We're just going to place it on that pin, bring it over, and then place it back on here. And then the eyes are going to be right here, right in the middle of this little section. So, and now we're going to work on the ears. So you can push this down, and it's going to be black ears, single black wrapped three times. One, two, three. Then a triple black, so three. 
I'm going to bring that on the triple, bring it back on the hook, bring it in the middle. Then you're going to take a single black, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, bring it on there, bring it back on the hook like that, and then we're going to place it right here. Okay, bring it up. Now the next ear seam, one, two, three, then a triple black, then you place it back on the hook, so it looks like that. Then you take a single, twist it upon itself, slide it on there, bring it back on the hook, and place it over here. Okay, just up like that. And this is the layout of your Rottweiler. Make sure it looks like this, and we're going to start looming now. Okay, so I'm going to start looming, and we're going to have an extension here. I'm going to take it very slowly so that everybody can loom along, and it shouldn't be that hard. So if you just, like, pay attention, and if you're having a problem, you can rewind it, or give me a Instagram message, or anything like that, or YouTube. You can write on the bottom of the screen, and I'll help you out. So pull back the tail. And our first band will be this one, right here on the left, and it's the topmost band, and we're just going to bring it to the left pin. Our second looming is right here, this is our second band, on the right, and bring it to the right. And now we're going to loom all the way up and stop at the neck area, the middle section. We're just looming forward. Okay, we're stopping right here at the neck. So now this is the leg area, and there's a lot of bands because we have extension right here, three bands, plus the leg, and these bands right here. I only want to grab the bottom band. I don't want to touch this big chunk of black bands right here. I only want this bottom band, the bottom one at the bottom. <laughs> bottom one at the bottom. So I'm going to go all the way down, grab that double at the bottom, bring it up, and forward. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Now we're just grabbing the extension that's on the top. Just these three bands. We're not going under to grab these, just the top. So it's going to be a black band right here. Just that top extension band. Then there's going to be another black, just the top one. And now here is that caramel and black band. And we're stopping. Okay, so you can see I only grabbed the top ones. Now I'm going to place my finger right here, and we're going to bring it to the side. I'm going to pick this up and just lightly place it on the side. Okay, and we're stopping. So I only did two times. One, two. Now we're going to loom the bottom right here. So here's one, two, the second pin. And we're just grabbing the bottom bands at the way bottom. And we're grabbing the bottom on this one too. And lastly, that bottom. 
stop right there. Push that down. Now we're grabbing this neck band, the shoulder band. Okay, and that's going on the neck. And that is done. So now we're going to repeat on the left side. So we did all of this, and now we're going to repeat on here. So we are grabbing only this bottom band here underneath this leg. Okay, I'm going to stop. Now I'm only grabbing the top extension. It's going to be a black. There's one, then here's the next extension, two, and here's the black and caramel, three. Now I'm going to put my finger here, and I'm going to take this extension, pull it to the side, then I'm going to grab this one, and bring it to the side. And we're stopping. So that takes care of one. Now we're going to grab just the bottom layer. All the way down. Bring it to that pin. Then we'll go another stitch. And then finally another black stitch. We're stopping. Now here's my neck area. I'm going to grab that, the shoulder area. Just want to make sure I have everything. And we're stopping right there. Now these, there's a triple band right here. It's at the way bottom. And bring it to this pin. And now the face area. So much easier than down here. But it looks pretty good to me. And it's not that hard once you get the extensions right and everything. So now we're going to work with the head area. Okay, so my top band is this left black band. So I'm going to grab that and bring it to the left pin. Then my black pin, my black band on the right. Bring it to the right pin, and then this is the caramel. I'm going to bring it forward onto this pin. Then to make this 3D, I'm bringing this part over. So I'll show you. I'm going to make this really slow. So I'm bringing the caramel, bring it over to this pin. Then I want to grab that triple caramel that we had before that we laid on top and the little nose. Bring it over and then separate this black band so you can see what that looks like. I just brought it over and then I separated these black bands. Now I'm going to place my hook right through this pin. Bring that black band forward. So I'm going to bring that black band forward and to this pin. So we had that caramel band and I brought it forward then I brought the snout over Separated these two black bands, went under, grabbed that black band, brought it to this pin. So now we're going to work with the forehead area. And our next band will be this left band. It will be the uppermost. 
and we're going to bring it to the ear part. Then we're going to do this right pin, the right band, to the right ear. And then finally, this middle band. Okay, now we're going to work on the side of the head. So we did all the middle bands. Now we're going to work with this band right here. It's on the bottom. Push that down. I'm just going to grab that one and loop, loom forward to the ear. And then finally this band here. A little tight on the ear part. Then you can place your hook right through and loosen it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the left side now. The, only the bottom bands. And then finally, this diagonal band. Okay, and this is your layout. So this is what your Rottweiler looks like. Take a double, make sure it looks like this. Take a double band, place it on the top, and you're going to make a slip knot. and make sure he looks like this and then now we can start taking it off the loom okay so we're gonna take it slowly off the loom on the bottom now remember there's a lot of bands so take your time don't pull it off because then you might break some bands and the extensions too Okay, so now I'm getting to the shoulder area. It's going to be thick here. Okay, now the nose. Pull it up. The other ear. And the head. Okay, you don't need the loom anymore. And we're going to turn this guy into this guy. So pay attention and he'll look really awesome. So we're going to take our finger, go in the back of the head, push it out. And you can see his face forming. You can pull his snout and you can see that there's caramel at the bottom, a little black nose and the black on the top. You can squeeze his head, push it down, it's more flat, pull up the ears. I'm going to show you how to make the ears floppy later on and hide this. And I'm also going to show you how to put the um, caramel band to make the little out, uh, eyebrows. Okay, so pull him through, pull the legs out, legs out, tail, and then you're going to see these caramel bands that we placed before. We're going to fold him and you're going to see that he's very thicker, you know, the, the bands made it a lot thicker on the side. We're going to make his head go like this now. So put your hook right through the triple band and tug slightly. And that brought the head up. Now we're going to sew the body shut. I just need a single black and you need a scissor at the end too. So we need our scissor. 
to cut at the end and we're going to sew this into his belly to make it more 3D. And I want to show you really quickly. I tied the first knot on both of these bands with the original dog. I just took the all the caramel bands and I tied my first little slip knot on these and it made the band the chest area a little bit smaller for the caramel. I'm going to do it a little bit differently for this one so it shows more caramel, but if you want to have the dog like this, then do it this way. So place your bands through both caramel bands. But I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to place it through the black and the caramel, just like this. And then you place your band right through. And then you make a little slip knot. Make it shirt down. Okay, that's your first stitch. So this will make the little band, the caramel bands, a little bit more prominent. So it's going to look like this instead of this. So it all depends on how you how much caramel you want to show. And if you just have a double black there, then you just do the double black. Okay, so then we're going to go to our next stitch. It's going to be the black layer. And these are the extensions that we're sewing the dog on. So make sure yours looks like this. It's like the inner most bands. Place it on your hook, bring it through, pull it taut, then we'll go to the next stitch, it's still the extension, so it looks like this. Place it on the hook, bring it through, now we're going into like the regular bands, so it looks like this. Place it on the hook, bring it through, and if you want to stop there, you can stop there, or you can go another stitch through. I'm going to go with that one more little stitch. Then you want to snip the end. And then you want to anchor this one underneath. Find any little stitch. And then you pull it through underneath. And then I want to make like a triple knot to secure it. Here's number two and three. Okay, so you can either hide this excess inside the dog or you can snip it. Make sure to be careful. Don't snip your fingers or any part of the dog. Okay, put that to the side. And then bring it, the legs down. And you can see these forming into more of a dog shape. And if you want the tail to go up, place your hook right through and see this last stitch and just pull taut, pull it forward like that. And the tail will go forward and you can just bend the tail and it'll go up. Now the claws. I separate the black into like four little sections. And then I want to tug slightly at the bottom to move it so it looks like more like a paw, like that. I'm going to do the same with the back leg, the other leg. Separate the claws. And make it flat. And we're going to do the same with the front. And you 
face more flat. And the next one, the last one. And just tug, a slight little tug. So now you can see the little caramel in the front. And he can stand. And it looks so cute. And now we're going to fix the ears. We're going to keep this here for now. And we're going to pull this out. And there is that single twist right here. And you have the triple band on top. We're going to pull it just like we did with the paw, slightly up, and it's going to bring the ear down a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing here. Here's that single twist. Then we're going to slightly move that up. It's going to bring it down. Now I think, personally, I think there's too much black in the front, so I fixed it by taking, there's a double band right here, and a double band right here. It's the uppermost bands. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of camera. <laughs> you can see it right here. I pull it behind the ear. Makes the shape of the head a little bit more Rottweiler-ish. And there's another double band right here. You can see that. And then I pull it over the ear. And I think that really improves the dog. Okay, so we just placed the bands on the back of the head. And I want to show you, if you want to add a caramel little eyebrow, um, the if you add a bead, it looks a little bit different than with the band eyes. The band eyes are a little bit bigger. So the eyebrow is going to be a little bit higher up. And we're just going to place a single caramel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hook right through behind the head. And wherever you want to place that little eyebrow, place it above like a black band. This is all up to you, like where you want to place the eyebrow. I would leave about two bands on top of the eye and then place the little eyebrow on top of that. So it's all up to your discretion. So here's my little two bands. My hook is right through. I'm gonna take the single caramel. I'm just gonna bring it right through. Okay, and then just leave the end right there and it makes like a little eyebrow. And then I'm going to find the same two bands on the right side. Place my hook right through. Then I'm going to grab the other end. And make sure that this end stays in. You can place your finger. And then just play along with it. Make sure it comes through. Okay, so that's my other little eyebrow. And you can play along with it. And you can have, just make sure they're the same length. And these are your two little eyebrows. And then to hide this, there's a little you can see the caramel over here. You can sew the head just like we sewed the belly. Take the excess and bring it right through. And this makes a 3D effect also. I just leave it just like that. So that is your Rottweiler and you can also just fix the bands up in the face. Make sure that they're all the same on each side. Thickness. You can squish his head down. Just
just play with his head to make it the shape that you want. And you have a beautiful Rottweiler. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. I think they both came out really cute. So please subscribe. Bye.